Hello and welcome to the first video that is coming to you from the new headquarters for Naturally Fit and Well LLC. Um, and this video is all about Sinus Saver Tea, which you can see here as a special request from Natasha. She asked this question a couple of weeks ago and I promised that I would follow up with a video that gave the specifics to the benefits for the Sinus Saver Tea. So um, first I'm gonna go through the ingredients that are actually in the blend, talk about the benefits of them really quickly and um, just do a quick follow up there. So um, the first is that this blend contains plantain and this is the common plantain that you will actually see growing in your yard. So this is plantain major again you'll see little green leaves in your yard and those little shoots that come up with the little seeds on top and that is very good for many many reasons um, and I'll get to that in a second next up this has bone set in it and bone set was considered a cure-all um, when it was first discovered so it was used for many many um, skin irritations and also for different health benefits the next ingredient that you will find in here is nettle and nettle is good because it has a high protein content and more benefits that I'm going to get into in a few minutes. Next up is echinacea and the echinacea that I use in here is what you would call cone flower, which you again can see in a lot of home supply stores and this is echinacea purpurea and next up is elderflower. And this you see in a lot of blends, especially if you're looking for something for cold and flu. And um, part of its Latin name is Sambucus. So this is the same thing that's made to use Sambuca. Next up is red raspberry leaf. And you see this in a lot of the blends that I make because it has so many benefits, but also it tastes really, really good. Next up is marshmallow root, and this is, yes, traditionally the plant that was used um, way back in early times to actually make marshmallows, and this likes marshy areas, and basically it's really good for soothing and coating the throat. And the last ingredient is rubois, which is also known as honeybush or red tea. When you actually brew it, your tea has this beautiful red color and it's really good in terms of taste. And in addition to that, it is an adaptogen and adaptogens work in non-specific ways to help regulate the different systems of your body. And it also helps with the thyroid. So all of the herbs that I use in here have a lot of common factors and a lot of them are good because they are, they act as a mucilage, it acts as anti-inflammatory, anti-allergenic, a decongestant, expectorant, immune stimulant, and a diuretic. So all these things are going to help when you have all those symptoms of allergies. So sinus saver tea, of course, is good for allergies. And it's also good up to allergic rhinitis when you might have an infection or super infection that occurs from all the inflammation and potentially something else getting caught up with your regular allergies. So this is good for hay fever, regular allergies, allergic, allergic rhinitis, and many other conditions that you might have. Please remember that this is a loose leaf tea that you saw at the beginning, so you will need an infuser strainer to make this unless you do a special request of tea bags. Please make sure that with this blend, you only use it for a maximum of six to seven days because of the adaptogens that are in here, echinacea and rubois, and um, then you have to make sure that you rest for a good six, seven days, and then you can start it up again in order to fill all the maximum benefits of that. And because this does have some root elements to it, especially with the echinacea, technically it's a tea stain, and you can look at my very first video in Q&A to uh, see the difference between teas and tea stains. Don't forget to subscribe below, and I will see you next time.